How to keep your plants from dying. Plants can be a lovely and calming addition to your home or office, whether you've chosen indoor or outdoor plants. While some people seem blessed with a green thumb, you may feel like it's hard to keep your plants alive. With a little TLC, you can keep your indoor potted plants, outdoor potted plants, and garden plants from dying. Caring for indoor potted plants. Choose potting soil that is formulated for indoors. It can be tempting to use dirt from your yard or the same potting soil that you use outside. However, indoor plants have different needs than outdoor plants. Make sure that your soil is made for indoor plants because it will be lightly packed enough for the plants to grow while still tight enough to hold in the water. Change your soil every year or two. You should also check to make sure that your plant does not require special soil, such as clay, loam, sand, or peat. These soils hold different amounts of water to meet the needs of plants that may struggle in traditional soil. Additionally, you can find soil with added nutrients for your indoor plant. Make sure the plant gets the right amount of light. Some indoor plants require a lot of light and need to be placed in a window that gets full sun, while others would wilt under all those rays. Check your plant's needs to ensure that they are being met. Don't assume that a plant needs to be in a window. Some plants thrive in low light. Check to make sure that the window you choose for your full sun plant gets several hours of sunlight. Sometimes windows are sunny for part of the day but in shade for the majority of the day. Choose a day when you're home all day to check back at regular times to see how the light levels are. If your home doesn't get adequate light, you can try a UV lamp. Don't assume that a plant needs to be in a window. Some plants thrive in low light. Check to make sure that the window you choose for your full sun plant gets several hours of sunlight. Sometimes windows are sunny for part of the day but in shade for the majority of the day. Choose a day when you're home all day to check back at regular times to see how the light levels are. If your home doesn't get adequate light, you can try a UV lamp. Water your plants according to their needs. Some plants need daily watering, while others need weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly watering. Check the care information for your plant to find out how much water it needs. Many people think that they can't go wrong by watering frequently, but you can overwater a plant just as easily as not water it enough. Overwatering drowns the plant. Prevent pests. You may think that your plants are safe from pests because they're inside, but that is untrue. Think about all of the times that bugs have found their way into your house. Pests that can harm your plants can easily come in as well. To prevent pests, spray your plants once or twice a week with neem oil to keep them safe from mites and mealybugs. You can also purchase a commercial pesticide formulated for indoor plants. Choose the right pot. As your plant grows, you should transplant it into larger pots that better suit the size of the plant so that the roots don't twist in on themselves, suffocating the plant. Additionally, the pot that you use should be the right material and the right size for your plant because the pot size can determine the amount of moisture that the plant receives. Ants 9. Greater than when transplanting your plants, always shake the old dirt loose from the roots. If the inner roots are twisted, gently loosen them so that they are able to grow in the new pot. For example, plastic pots hold onto water, while clay pots don't. It's best to use a plastic pot only if you have a plant that needs a lot of water, because one that doesn't will drown. Choose a pot that is 2 to 4 inches 5 to 10 centimeters larger in diameter than your plant because extra soil will mean extra moisture, which could overwater your plant. 